Hey everyone, and welcome to a new tutorial related to the Liberland blockchain. We are going to show you today how to use the Hashi Bridge powered by Pokeswap to move LLD Liberland dollars from Liberland blockchain to Ethereum. Uh, I actually have a need to move some tokens to LL to Ethereum today, so you're going to watch live as I do this. So you can see that we are here on Pokeswap.io. Pokeswap is a app on the Sora network and they operate the Hashi Bridge. Hashi Bridge is a bridge that connects Sora network, Liberland, Ethereum, Kusama, Polkadot, and a few other blockchains. And you can move tokens to and from any of those connected blockchains. And uh, we're going to use that here today to move from Liberland blockchain to Ethereum. So you're going to need a few things connected here. One, an Ethereum wallet. It could be MetaMask, it could be Coinbase wallet, whatever you prefer, and a wallet on the Liberland blockchain. I'm choosing to use SubWallet. It's a great browser extension and uh, they also offer a mobile app as well. That's really handy and has a built-in browser. So you need to do this in steps. You need to move from Liberland blockchain to Sora Network first, and then from Sora Network to Ethereum. It adds a few extra steps, but it also makes sure that you are in control of your tokens at all times and helps ensure security as well uh, because you're only going one hop at a time instead of two hops. So we are going from Liberland blockchain to Ethereum, uh, no, sorry, Liberland blockchain to Sora. There we go. So I've got from Liberland to Sora, I'm gonna choose my token, moving LLD, and I'm going to connect my account here. As I said, I'm using sub wallet, and I'm going to use this marketing account here. to move over a chunk of LLD, oops, <laughs> don't have that many, over to Sora Mainnet. Uh, I'll swap for a little bit of Sora, uh, XOR as well if I need to. And you can see some, st some stats down here about the Sora network fee is zero, the max Liberland blockchain fee, it's a pittance, 0 0.01030004 LLD. And the minimum deposit is one LLD. That's no problem. So we're going to go next. And I'm going to confirm here that I want to do this. And you'll see, you might not see it on this recording, but you will see a signature request here uh, pop up from SubWallet or Talisman or whatever wallet you use to confirm that uh, you want to uh, essentially burn tokens on the Liberland network and bring them over to Sora network. So I'm going to approve that. And this process takes a couple of minutes to complete. And as I said, about two minutes later, the bridge transaction is now successful. So we can get links to the Sora transaction into the Sora account. I'm going to skip that part because I'll be able to see the tokens uh, in the wallet. Let's uh, turn off the visibility here real quick. There, I can see I do have 10, 1,010 LLD on Sora mainnet now. So now we're going from Sora Mainnet to Ethereum. So there we go, we got Sora Mainnet from to Ethereum Mainnet. Again, I'm gonna choose LLD. Uh, so as you're seeing here, I need to connect my Ethereum account. I use MetaMask uh, here in this browser. So I'm going to connect that. Uh, I didn't see it because I've already done it, but you will get a prompt to connect your wallet to Pokeswap. Uh, make sure you approve that so that you can actually use the Hashi Bridge. I'm going to choose the max. 
and I don't have enough XOR, no worries. So I figured that might happen. Uh, so I only need about 117,600 XOR. Let's go trade for uh, double that. Or oh, maybe we'll do about 300,000. So if I go back to swap and choose LLD, I need to go the opposite. And I'm just gonna enter that I need 300,000. That's only going to use up 2.4 LLD. That's terrific. Swap, get my confirmation here and confirm. Okay, I've got a information that the SOAR network metadata is out of date. That should be okay, and it's only a couple of LLD that's on the line here, so I'm going to go ahead and approve that. There we go, transaction was submitted, and within about 30 seconds or so, I should have XOR tokens. There we go. So I got my 300,000, and then it took about 11,000 for the fee to do that swap, so I'm in good shape here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the bridge. Once again, I'm gonna bridge, which I'm gonna do about 1,005. I'm gonna keep a few back because I have a feeling I'm gonna need a little bit more for fees at some point. And I'm going to hit next. There we go. I have 1,005 on Sora Network. I'm gonna move 1,005 to, uh, to Ethereum. And I'm going to confirm. You did see there an option to disable transaction confirmations. I don't like to do that because I wanna double and sometimes triple check what I'm doing, especially when I'm moving thousands of dollars uh, between blockchains or just swapping thousands of dollars uh, worth of tokens. So uh, there we go. Now this is pending. It's 2.09.31 PM here locally, and this should be done just like before in a couple of minutes. All right, so the transaction has gone from Sword Network to Ethereum. Now I need to confirm a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain to receive the tokens. Basically, it shows me an estimated fee of $4.52 right now to receive, retrieve the tokens on Ethereum. Uh, I'm fine with that. I have more than $4.54 worth of Ethereum in this wallet, so I'm going to confirm that. And now we see not only the Sora transaction hash for moving the tokens off of Sora network, but also the Ethereum transaction hash for receiving the tokens on the Ethereum network. So we just need to wait another minute or two here and this should be complete. And that's completed. If this is your first time bridging tokens to Ethereum, you definitely wanna hit this button, add LLD to wallet and then close the prompts. There we go. I'd like to import these tokens. I'm seeing token balance, the LLD logo, 1,005 LLD in my wallet, add token to MetaMask, and that's it. It's complete. If we want to do that in the opposite direction, let's say you've purchased some LLD from Uniswap or through Matcha, and you want to bring those from Ethereum to the Liberland network in order to start staking them nominating a validator and earning LLD for helping operate and secure the blockchain. Obviously, we're going to go in reverse here. So let's just use those other five. I don't I know that I don't need on Ethereum. We're going to bring those to Sora mainnet. So we're going to hit next. Confirm five from Ethereum to five on Sora network. And this time, because I'm moving them from Ethereum, I have to approve a spending cap request for my LLD. Uh, so this basically allows the Sora, the, the HashiBridge smart contract on Ethereum to allocate my LLD on my behalf, which is a prerequisite. So I understand that. I'm going to approve the site requested spending cap and approve that. That should cost roughly a dollar twenty. Uh, USD worth of Ethereum, worth of Ether. Okay, that part's complete. 
So that approved the smart contract to allocate tokens on my behalf. And now I have the bridging transaction to send LLD to, uh, it's, the way it's described here is to a side chain. It's not really a side chain, but that's not relevant right now. This is going to cost me about $1.37, oh, $1.57 worth of ether. So I'm going to confirm that. And as you can see here, I now have an Ethereum transaction hash uh, for the transaction that's moving those tokens back to the Sora network. And as part of its uh, bridge security, we have a minimum number of blocks that the Hashi bridge waits uh, to be processed, confirmed, finalized before the transaction is complete. This went from 30, we're down to 28 now, and uh, we'll cut to the final confirmation. Okay, so we can see here that the uh, through 30 blocks in about eight minutes, the bridge transaction is successful, it's complete, and I should have them back in my wallet. Let's go to, uh, I'll just go back to bridge here. And if I swap these around, yes, I see that I have them back to 7.58 LLD on my, uh, in my wallet on the Sora network. I'm gonna move those now back to Liberland and we're gonna choose LLD. And I'm gonna choose just the five. And we're all good here. Five from here, move them back to the marketing wallet. Next, all good. About 117,000 XOR. And how many do I have? I think I've got enough. Confirm. Uh, once again, I need to update my metadata. I'll, uh, I'll do that later. There we go. Open up the transaction again. And approve. And yes, I see I took just enough XOR in my wallet to process this. So in about a minute or two, this will all be done. And I'm all done here. Uh, we can see a Liberland transaction link to the mainnet chain scan. You can see I can check my wallet, uh, my account, but uh, I trust that this is all good. I can actually just check wallet here. Back to 1,098 and fewer XOR tokens. So there you have it. That's in less than 20 minutes, I moved LLD from Liberland blockchain to Sora network to Ethereum and then also moved a few back to Sora and then to Liberland blockchain. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your time and attention. And if you have any trouble using HashiBridge, please reach out to the Sora community. Uh, there's a link here uh, for their info in the community. They're super active on Telegram and on Reddit as well. You can get some help there. If you still need more help, you can join Telegram on the Liberland Telegram at Liberlanders. We'll put a link in the description and let us know what trouble you're having. Thank you so much again and have a great day.